It's nice to go first at this white ass event. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna pretend. I was like, oh, I can get the fuck out of here real fast. I can leave like now. I can leave now if I want. I can just leave. Um, just gonna be honest. Just letting y'all know where the show gonna go. Here we go. Hey guys. Um, sorry if I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> So I know it's a comedy show. Sorry if I'm negative. I found out I was non-essential two years ago and I'm, I'm not okay. Um, I'm not, I don't know, everyone's just like moving on. Everyone's just like having fun. I'm like, I'm non-essential, fuck y'all. You get what I'm saying? I'm bitter to society, I'm a menace now. I don't know if y'all know this. I fart in elevators, I don't say thank you. I don't wear deodorant, I don't, I'm not gonna do that for y'all, okay? I was driving here, I swear to God, I was driving here and an ambulance was speeding down the road and I fucking cut that bitch right off. <laughs> cut it off! <laughs> I, okay, I do have a, I have a boo, okay. I have a boyfriend, I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak into reality. I have a husband and, um, <laughs> I have a husband. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Don't tell him I said that, but. <laughs> He's like, stop saying that on camera. Anyway, um, I do, I have a boyfriend and I quarantined with him and it was just, anyone else quarantined with a straight man? Anybody else for two years? Anyone else make that mistake? And just not married, just looking at this straight man walking around the fucking house farting. Anybody else just live a nightmare? Okay. I did that for two years and it was just hard for me because I was like, I'm gonna better myself in this time. I'm gonna better myself during quarantine. I'm a, I went back to school. I took up photography, you know what I mean? I started knitting again. I was like, I'm gonna be a better person. His whole contribution to the pandemic, this was his asset. He was like, hey, let's learn how to 69 standing up. <laughs> Year and a half, that was his whole contribution to the family. <laughs> let's just learn how, to, and I would be mad. I would be mad, you know? but like, I can hold him now. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I'm stronger. He made me a stronger woman. He's a good man. Don't come to my boyfriend. I do, I do like this guy. He's very nice. He, he asks me things sometimes that's kind of, it's kind of nice. He asks me what turns me on. Um, I don't know. I lived at home my whole life, you know? I never really, I don't know what turns me on. To be honest, what turns me on, that's straight up, an empty house. You get what I'm saying? An empty... <laughs> An empty house. If I could like pull up to the house and you not in the driveway, god damn. You know what I'm saying? God damn. He's like, what am I supposed to do? It's like, well, if you want to spice it up, you can like shake the door handle. You know what I mean? Like, maybe someone coming, you know what I mean? But if you want this to be over, you can just leave. I had a, a hard time talking to my girlfriends during the pandemic. God damn, you never realize how much you only talk to bitches over brunch until you are talking to them on the phone. Um, I'm talking to these girls sober, just in my house talking to these girls, and I, I can't do it no more. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies, I love talking to you. I'm not even trying to be against, I'm like, let's talk, but y'all, whoo, God, not sober. I can't talk <laughs> to us sober, this is too much. My one girlfriend, I can't listen to her specifically because she likes to talk about like her anxiety and her depression, you know what I mean? And she can't handle the world, you know, she has, oh, she's a good person. Uh, I'm just like dragging her. She has anxiety, but like, this is the thing about her. She'll also talk to me at least twice a week about anal. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like, stop, you're, you're relaxed enough for anal. I don't wanna fucking hear <laughs> about your anxiety. It's Monday the 1st and you just had anal. You're loose, you're fine. You're okay. I've just never, I'm jealous. I've never been relaxed enough for anal. I've never been, I've never, I'm distressed to the, I'm like, you just chilling? I can't, I don't understand that. Like, I swear to God, I said the word anal too much right now. My butthole right now is like, are you talking about me, bitch? <laughs> On stage? <laughs> have a normal week, you better shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I'm fighting back here while I'm laughing for y'all, I'm performing. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. I do, I do feel like, I don't know. I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I know how else to set that up or say that. You know what I mean? That's the reality of it. I'm very, I don't know, I'm pretty annoyed. My boyfriend's 140 pounds, so. Anyone else living with their goal weight? Anyone else just? <laughs> That's why I can hold him, so anyway, go. <laughs> he's little, he's not, okay. He is, he's so cute. 
He's 140 pounds. I don't know, he's not really my go weight, he's my doctor's go weight. She's a negative bitch. I know you're not supposed to say that. Cause she's an essential worker. She's also a bitch. Anyway. Um, my doctor, she's a bitch. I do like her though. It's uh, I don't know, but she kind of, she lies to me. And this is why I don't, I can't really fuck with her. She lies to me. Like um, a, few, a few years ago, she told me, she was like, Felicia, you're gonna get diabetes and high blood pressure. You have to get under 200 pounds, right? So I lost 80 pounds. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Nobody clapped until I said thank you. Redondo Beach is full of bad people. Y'all need to know in the back. These are bad people up here. Anyway, um, no. I did lose 80 pounds. I gained 30 back during the pandemic. But this is what I want to say about that, okay? This is what I want to say about that. If you didn't gain at least 10 pounds during the pandemic, you're a huge bitch. I don't know who needs to hear this. And I'm just talking to the men, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a bitch. I'm at the point in my life, though, where I, I don't know, my doctor, she's a lying bitch because she was like, Felicia, you have to get under 200 pounds or you're gonna get diabetes and high blood pressure. And so when I lost the 80 pounds, I went back to the office, I was like, hey, she was like, oh my God, you're doing it. She was shocked. It's like, well, believe in me, bitch, you said I was gonna die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're a doctor, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening to you. You said I was gonna die. Is there a gas leak? What's going on? And she was like, oh my God, you're doing it. Okay, like, what do you wanna be? Like 140, maybe 150? And I'm like, see, bitch, that's why I don't like you. You said under 200 pounds. I wanna be 199 pounds. Do you hear what I'm saying? 199.99 maybe even. Stop fucking with me. I'm not trying to fucking soar. But when you're black, they like, you should be Beyonce. And it's like, can I just work at the bank? You get what I'm saying? Can I just keep a steady job? I have three white girlfriends. Yes, I count them, they count me. I think fair is fair. <laughs> and they're very worried about racism, which they should be, because it's their fault. Um, but <laughs> they're very worried about how they're gonna be perceived out here. And it's hard for me because like, now they're starting to overstep. You get what I'm saying? It's not making any sense. It's starting to be like, this isn't even, this is not, I don't understand what you're doing. Like we were in Vegas and it was nighttime, and uh, we started taking pictures. Now, I don't know if you guys know how like night works and melanin works, okay? Okay, but um, <laughs> night's dark and I'm dark. That's just science. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Those are two plus two equals black. That's just numbers. That's numbers, you get what I'm saying? So we, these girls are taking pictures of us at night. No one's using the flash. No one's using the flash. <laughs> just taking pictures, and I had to be like, hey, ladies, I don't feel like you can see me in these pictures. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I think one of y'all should turn the flash on. Y'all taking this straight up dark night. There's lights for a reason. You gotta use it, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, Felicia, oh my God, we can't just flash you at night like that. That's racist and hurtful. We can't just flash you in the middle of the night. And I was like, okay, but um, I feel like it's way more racist and hurtful just to post these pictures on Instagram the next day. Like, I didn't go to Vegas with you bitches. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you just gonna post these pictures like, I didn't go to, I was, I drove here, bitch. I, <laughs> Stop fucking doing it. And even if you can't see me, tag me in the right spot. Stop with the bullshit. <laughs> Don't tag me in the nice guy, bitch. I was standing next to you. You know that. <laughs> I've run into this thing. I'll end on this. Um, I, uh, I don't hate men, but they are scary. And um, I'm not gonna pretend like, ah! You know, I do, I've been wanting to scream at you two the whole time. Anyway, um, <laughs> terrifying with the jaws and the eyes. Anyway, so I am scared of men, mostly not even because they like the horrible things they've done, but, um, <laughs> because they're so confident. And it's really hard to like, like counteract the confidence with sometimes when you deal with a man. Um, and I don't know if you guys know, men are the most confident beings alive. And I know this because I used to be a bank teller. I was a bank teller for years. Um, the bank's slow because we're all high. You're welcome. I can't. <laughs> this is insider trade secrets. <laughs> they pay us minimum wage, we're gonna smoke a little weed. It's just a fair trade. Let's, you're gonna yell at us either way. Let us just smoke some weed. Anyway. Um, the number, you still get your money. Anyway, um, but every single day, I'm not over-exaggerating this number, this isn't my ego, I swear to God, every single day, a man would come up to the bank teller window and he'd hit on me through the window. Negative money in his account. Okay, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me about confident men, hear me? Every single day, didn't matter his age, his race, he'd come up to the window and be like, hey babe, um, let me take you out somewhere. And I have to be like, sir, I can see you can't take me nowhere. <laughs> You owe me. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Would 
you go on the date? Because he's so confident. You know what I'm saying? He's so confident. Maybe he has a second account, you know? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't.